Now, their 19-year marriage ended in heartbreak after Alex Hollywood filed for divorce from estranged husband and Bake Off judge Paul Hollywood back in 2017. But as Alex tries to put their difficult breakout behind her, she joins us now in her first television interview since the split. And it's lovely to have you here. Thank Hi, you for coming. Nice to be. I mean, this, is a, it's, this has been a legal nightmare. There, have been, there were lawyers, your lawyers, his lawyers, Summer's lawyers, our lawyers last night, this morning. It's backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. We'll try and pick our way through this sort of thing. Uh, not easy for you, we understand that, but you have chosen to talk about it. Why? Um, well, first of all, I was really excited about coming on the show to cook, because that's really what, what I do. I wanted to be here to do that, but um, when you said I could come on, and uh, there's a lot of uh, speculation in the papers mm. about things, so I would like to say that um, the reports, the many reports in the papers, um, about this so-called spat fight. Um, Is this I, the one in the Marks and Spencer's car park? This, it's, it's supposedly in, in, in Marks and Spencer's, but I can categorically say that I did not say those things. There was no spat, no fight, no row in Marks and Spencer's. Mm. Um, I did not call the police to yeah. Marks and Spencers. So we should, um, we've got, we, because we're talking about this now, and, and, and this is something that you brought up, we should point out that this is, um, this was with Summer, uh, and then she called her mother, Sabina. Her mother then posted a lengthy um, uh, a video on, on, I think, the Daily Mirror's website, uh, saying that, that there'd been a row at the checkout, and the checkout lady had had to say, are you OK, to Summer, and then this had continued out into the car park. Just in case people don't know what that is, that's mm. sort of what's happened. All of the, the stories that the media ran are so far from the truth mm. that um, I actually don't want to comment on them at all. But as I, I just said now, what I can say is that um, there was no row. I did not use that language. And I think the most important thing for me is to say at the end of the day, look, divorce is, is such a hard thing to mm -hmm. get for. Anybody, any of your viewers who are going through it will understand that as well. It's, it's a really difficult thing. It's even more difficult if you're going through it in the public eye. And I totally get that I was married to somebody who was part of one of the nicest, best shows um, for years. Alongside that, you get the media interest. But um, my son looks to me to show him how to, to deal with this, to get through this. And I would never do or say anything to compromise his trust or to embarrass him, mm. because I know that I am, to a certain extent, in the public eye, mm. because of my association, because of my marriage. Do you, do you wish, in a way, because when you sort of look at how you two, you know, you met in Cyprus, yeah. he was the baker at the hotel, That's you know, right. you were a diving instructor, yeah. you bonded over your love of food, mm. and you had this relationship, this marriage, and it was sort of his success, really, sort of at the Dorchester and Clifton and all those hotels, this yeah. success he had, that then obviously TV companies come a-knocking and there's opportunity there. Mm. You were willing to back him, you know, as his wife, this was very exciting. Of course. In a way, do you sort of wish that none of that had ever happened, that you could have just lived your life mm. together without that spotlight of fame upon you? I think my grandmother always said, always live with no regrets. And I totally believe taking chances with both hands. And um, if you're given an opportunity and you're with somebody who's given this amazing opportunity and you work together as a team, and we did, we worked together as a really good team. We both had this great love of food, we were interested in it, and it was something that really brought us together at that point. So, um, of course, you're going to take the, the chances. And I, I would never like to look back and think, oh, I wish I'd never done that. Mm -hmm. It's sad when a marriage comes to an end for anybody. But for me now, I want to move on. Mm -hmm. I really do. And, and I know that people are interested and want to talk about it, but actually, I have a whole life ahead of me. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be taking my, my chances now and going mm -hmm. ahead and trying to look forward. Because otherwise, if I keep on looking back and saying, what if I'm looking over my shoulder, mm -hmm. And if you look over your shoulder, you can't look ahead at what there is. And, and there's, you know, things you've, ahead. Um, you've come under fire. I mean, there's been accusations in the press of you sort of still being very angry about all this, mm. holding a lot of this anger and not being able to move mm. forward. Um, I don't think... I'd love to know where they get it from. No, I'm not well, angry. Well, uh, it was the fact... I think it was, uh, this is something else that um, Sabina uh, actually mm. said after this 
incident um, that you'd called the police on her the next day. She said, and she says directly, it's it's over a year after the breakup, and Alex has been separated a long time. We are sad that she's still so angry about the situation. We really hope she can find it within herself to move on. I can't comment on anything that um, is said in the press. There have been a lot of things, as I she, said. She said that. There have been a lot of things that have been said um, that have no bearing on me or my marriage to Paul or my divorce to Paul, and that is something that is not anything that I will mm. comment. And I have not commented, and I will continue not to comment mm. about things like that because I'm trying to get divorced. I want to move on. Mm. I want to carry on cooking and make, do my recipes and write. So, do you think? Do you think that? And as, as sort of the point that Holly made earlier on is that is the fact that you you know you are. You kept a very low profile, mm. and from from us looking in on this, um, forgetting that you know, so those sort of stories, it's been terribly dignified. Um, and you have a son, and you're trying to do that. But this is one of those things that if you if you put yourself back into that the public arena, and you're going to cook for us later yeah, on, absolutely, you know, people are going to ask you about this. Of course they are, and anybody can ask anything. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to get the answer that they want. There are some things, and as you both know, you know, you, you also have a life. Yeah. Um, you don't have to lay the whole thing out there. And as I, I keep well, on saying, that divorce happens a lot, and divorce is sad for all parties concerned. Well, you've been terribly... I think, you know, so the, as you were, you were saying earlier on about, you know, the viewers who are going through... We've got a phone in today, you mm. know, the viewers are moving on and forgiveness and, right, OK, you know, that's a chapter in my life. You have been very forgiving. You mm. said everyone deserves a mistake. Paul had a, 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 an affair in 2012, mm. 2013, during the American Bake Off, and, and you said everyone deserves a mistake. Well, of course, everybody does. You know, you can't... You can't judge people all the time and think... And, and say, oh, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. People are human. But at the end of the day, this is right for me. Mm. I need to move on. I want to have... My, I want to live my life. And, and this was not right. So, therefore, we've come to this point, and nobody ever thinks they're going to end up divorced. Nobody no, ever thinks so. they're going to be there. But when you do, you just have to get on with it. And, and because, this, well, you know, Vanessa will be here talking about this, Vernon, mm. is forgiveness part of moving on? Do you have to forgive him in order to do that? I, I don't think it's a case of... I think it's a case of more being able to deal with it yourself and think, I can live with this. And my thing always is looking forward. I just have to think, right, OK, where am I going? Where am I going next? Where is this going to go? I've got my, my son mm -hmm. to look out for as well, and we have a life that we want to live and enjoy. And I want to be happy at the end of the day. Yeah. Everybody's entitled to happiness. I want to, be, I want to be settled and happy, and I want to experience new things. And, um, Do you wish that for Paul? Yes, of course, because he is the father of my son, and that is only a, a healthy, yeah. good thing. And is there, is there still communication? I think that's a question that is probably best asked um, to Paul. I can't answer that. OK. All right, listen, we'll put this all beh Thank behind you. us now, and we'll look Thank to the future, you. because at the end of the show, you're going to be cooking for us. Thank you very what much What are you going indeed. to cook? I'm going to be cooking um, chicken with roasted pecans, squash and rosemary. It's really easy. It's delicious. You'll love Sounds it. Sounds lovely. lovely.